Welcome to the World Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Libra for the week starting the 13th to the 20th of December 2021. Holy Spirit, show me the Libras who need to hear these messages for the coming week. Well, that was quick. Two of Cups. Reversed. Crap. Two of Pentacles. Reversed. Okay, so there's some kind of... There could be a separation. If you're with somebody, you might separate from this person. Um, there's some kind of emotional imbalance here. There's an imbalance in your relationship, right? So Libra is all about balance, but we've got an imbalance here. And the Two of Cups is Pisces, the Two of Pentacles is Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus. Okay. So what's the imbalance here? What's happening? And we've got 22 also. You could be a master number 22. Libra is justice, which is 11, right? We've got 22, that's 11, 11. Maybe you're a twin flame, I don't know. Anyway, or you're one of the 144,000. Yes, it's true. There you go. 21. 21 is the world. It's an ending. So this could be an ending to a relationship here. Seven of Pentacles. This could be a seven-year relationship. Seventeen is the star. Maybe you're also dealing with an Aquarius. Knight of Swords reversed. This is this is Gemini. But again, I'm getting the the Gemini sometimes makes me think of uh, twins, right? So you're a twin flame. That's what I'm getting here for you. Eight of Pentacles. You could be a very hard worker. You could work for yourself. You could be self-employed. You could have some. You could have a bit of um, success here with the seventeen, the star. Seventeen could be a number. It could be a year. I don't know. Maybe you have a seventeen-year-old child or something. You could have have a ch teenage child, possibly six of pentacles. Maybe your work is humanitarian, you're self-employed and you, you work for yourself and you're a humanitarian, you help others out with uh, some practical advice or something, I don't know, or with money. You could be like a financial advisor or some kind of advisor. Okay. So what's happening this week for you? You could be working very hard, right? 86, maybe you're born in 86. King of Wands. You could have maybe a male fire sign, a Leo coming towards you. Five of Swords, Leo and Aquarius. These are the opposites. So this person could be like in two minds about you. They could be... This person could flip. You see with the Two of Pentacles reversed, this person might be a bit imbalanced emotionally or mentally imbalanced. They flip from one energy, from one pole to the other. Oh my God, this person could be bipolar actually. <laughs> now that I thought about that, right? Sometimes I do see the Two of Pentacles reversed as bipolar disorder, but I, I've stopped mentioning it so much because not everyone that watches these readings necessarily has bipolar disorder. But now that I mentioned this, it could be that this person, or they could be going through Dark Night of the Soul right now, and they could be acting as if they have bipolar disorder. They could be flipping from one energy to another. So they're imbalanced. They're emotionally and mentally imbalanced. And this person could be kind of... They could be somebody who wants to win at all costs because the, the Leo card with the Five of Swords here is like somebody who, who wants victory at all costs. So you could have had... They, they came out in the upright. The King of Wands is in the upright. So maybe they're trying to balance the situation out with you. You could have had a lot of arguments with this person and maybe they want to make it right. But we already have the Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles reversed. So... I don't know if this is going to be good. This could be an argument that's happening this week. Maybe you don't have arguments already and this person is going to argue with you this week. So I'm not sure here. Is there an argument between you and this Leo or whatever? King of Cups. This doesn't look like... This could be emotional. Like... There could be an emotional discussion here with this person with the King of Cups. So maybe this person wants to heal whatever arguments you've had, whatever imbalance you had in the past. Does this person love you? Six of Cups, yes they do. Uh, this could be the father of your child. Because I was mentioning maybe you have a 17-year-old child or something. I don't know. Not necessary. 
So this could be the father of your children. And they want to balance the situation out. They want to heal the situation out. Heal the situation. Whatever. Never mind. <laughs> okay. This could also be somebody you've known from the past. Maybe even from childhood. You could have known this person for a long time. Right? This, this, this could be a soulmate. Like a past life soulmate. Okay. So... Can you heal the situation with this person? Can it be healed? Yes, it can. Queen of Swords. That's a yes. Okay, that's good. Also, it's up to you if you want to heal the situation or not. Because this is Libra, right? The Queen of Swords is Libra or Aquarius. Again, it could be the other person or it could be you. Yes. Okay, yes. Yes. More yeses. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so you have the opportunity to heal the situation with this person if you choose to. There you go. Right. So, if you come together with this person, how will their relationship look like? I almost got the King of Swords coming out. How will this relationship look like if you choose to heal the relationship with this person? How will this relationship look like if you choose to heal things with this person? The Queen of Wands wanted to come out now. So, King of Swords is the uh, counterpart of the Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands is the counterpart of the King of Wands. So, probably it's going to be a balanced relationship. It's where uh, both spiritually and mentally you have a very good connection. So, this you might have a mix of fire and air in your chart. They also might have a mix of fire and air. I don't know. Anything else? Eight of Wands. So the relationship will be Eight of Wands. So there's going to be a lot of good sex, I guess. Okay? And a lot of good communication. So, good. Like I said, fire and air, right? There you go. So there's a very good... There, there, there's a good connection when it comes to attraction. You're very attracted to each other, both physically and mentally. And sexually and all that. So there you go. And with the Eight, the Eight is Infinity. This is an eternal flame. So this could be your twin flame that's coming back towards you. Okay, anything else? So flames, eight of eight, eternal flame. There you go. <laughs> Ten of pentacles. Whoa, dude. You might yeah, you might have children, you might have a business together. So this is gonna look good. And you might be very successful with whatever you do together. You're gonna, um, you're not just gonna have like a relationship. This is gonna be your your life path together, and it could involve a lot of communication. Maybe online communication. Maybe you'll have an online business, and it's gonna be very successful. Two of Wands. Yeah, this talks about online again. So definitely you're going to start an online business with this person. And you'll leave a legacy uh, for your children. If you have children. Cool. Oh, oh, what's with the free of swords? Come on, man. What's with the free of swords? It was looking so good. What's the free of swords here? Knight of cups. Free of swords with the knight of cups. This person could be a bit of a Casanova. This person might have a wandering eye. Also, you might have like a water sign child with this person. But what is the Free of Swords? Is this person a player? Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Does this person... I don't know. Will this person have children with somebody else? Or do they have... Maybe they already have children with somebody else. You might have issues, trouble with their children if they already have children. What's the Free of Swords? What's the Free of Swords? Ten of Swords. Be betrayal. This person is going to betray you. This person... Oh. This person might have children with other people. Or relationships with other people. Maybe younger people. Wow. This is crap. Has this happened already or is this going to happen in the future? Because this, I was asking how the relationship will go. And it was going very well here when it comes to this, to working together. To the online business. But on the other hand, then we moved into this side. Where we're talking about betrayal and third parties. And they could be betraying you with a water sign or an earth sign. Or they could have children. These could be children that they will have with other people. 
Oh my god. <sighs> two of Swords. What's with the Two of Swords? Two of Swords is like um, a decision. You might be forced to make a decision about this person. Or maybe you don't see this about this person. There are things you don't see about this person. Four of Wands. This person could have a relationship already. I'm not sure if they're... Yeah, they have a relationship already. So the problem might be that you might not get along well with the, this person's children if they have any. Is this person going to cheat on you when you're going to be together? Is this person going to cheat on you when you're going to be together? Is this person going to... Let's see. Queen of Wands, I think so. Yeah, because Queen of Wands is like the other woman. This person is a cheater. And you know what? If they have somebody already, they might go back to that person or go back and forth between you and that person. Wow. Nine of Wands. And Eight of Swords. This person is stuck in, in a loop. This person could have some kind of trauma that they can't get over. Or they have a trauma bond with somebody. And they keep going back to that person. Could be a karmic that they keep going back to because they have a trauma bond with them. Oh, good God. So what? what's your advice regarding this situation? Should you reject this person? Nine of Pentacles. It could be that you need to stay independent, right? Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, and drop them. Love yourself first. Take care of yourself. Heal yourself and drop them. Are you going to get something better if you drop this person? Are you going to get something better? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ace of Cups. Somebody who really loves you. King of Swords. Could be another Libra. Or an air sign. Somebody who, who is very just. Very fair. Somebody who won't cheat. Right? Four of Swords. More Libra. So it could be another Libra. You might be getting another Libra. There you go. Cool. Eight of Swords could be Aquarius. But I don't want to see the Eight of Swords. What's with the Eight of Swords? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why does... The Eight of Swords keep popping up. It could talk about self-sabotage. Be careful not to self-sabotage and stuff. Nine of Swords. Anxiety. You could be very anxious. You could be overly anxious about um, getting into a relationship. And that might keep you single. So that's a warning here. 49 could be significant. Maybe this person's 49. Seven of Cups. Confusion and anxiety. So you could be dealing with confusion and anxiety over choosing a partner. The right partner for you. So how are you going to recognize this partner? How are you going to recognize if this is the right partner for you? Eight of Cups. 78 could be significant. Hmm. Eight of Cups. You might, you need to go within maybe. How will you recognize this person? You need to meditate, to go within and meditate. Also, they could have Scorpio in their chart. King of Pentacles. This person is going to be very stable, very... Um, you, you won't get back and forth like with the other person. You, this person will prove to you that they're always there for you, that they're your rock, basically, here with the King of Pentacles. You'll be able to... Um, lean on this person to um you you will see that they're very stable that they they say what they mean and they mean what they say you know it's like this is talking and this is doing what they do and what they say is on the same page right anything else seven of wands with the seven of wands either you're a bit guarded or this person could be a bit guarded or you, th this could be a warning for you not to be overly guarded with this person, but they could also be guarded. Also, this is somebody 